hallelujah god bless you you're welcome to this prophetic section i'm sharifon you welcome to my youtube channel prophetic moments so sharifon may god bless you bountifully in the mighty name of jesus amen i have a prophetic word for you a very very specific prophetic word god says that this is your mr right god says that this is your mr right mm. it's for somebody that you have a choice to make this is your mr right you see one thing that we are going through in the world today is that people are looking for perfect people to get married to you see your mr right is not that person who is perfect your mr right based on god's mind about mr right was supposed to be that person that compliments you i'll say it again your mr right or mrs right is not that person that is perfect you know you got all your shit together you put your life together you can speak well you can articulate perfectly well you have no child out of wedlock you are a virgin you can speak english properly you have a good character that is not who is your mr right that is not who is your mrs right i'm going to say two important things right now that i need you to understand the first of the things i want to say is that the perfect person for you or your mr right or your mrs right is not the perfect person is not that person who has all their shit together is not that person who has all their life together character perfect no that is not who mr right is that is not who mr right is Mr. Right is the one that can compliment you. Mr. Right is the one that can compliment your measure weakness, your measure limitations when it has to do with your assignment, with your person, with your personality, with your goals of your life and the goals of the kind of family you want to raise. See what the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2. God comes and sees Adam in the garden seated and god says to himself oh it's not good for man to be alone i would make him a helpmate suitable for him mm, suitable i will make him a compatible helper if you know the meaning of the word compatibility you'll understand this prophetic word better if you know the meaning of compatibility god says i would make him a compatible helpmate helper it's like you go to a hospital and then let's say you have somebody who is sick and gets discharged from the hospital but needs a home nurse they don't just give you any home nurse they give you a special home nurse someone specialized to care for that kind of a patient the same thing with a spouse it's not about your perfections it's about how well you blend in my own imperfections your mr right is not the perfect guy no your mr right is the guy that blends perfectly into your imperfections your mrs right is not the perfect woman is the one that can blend perfectly into your imperfections that is your mr or your mrs right and then the second thing i want to say is that when you meet the right person for you this is one way you would know that they are the right one for you you see they will accept your limitations and they are going to build systems around you to help you live with your limitations in their lives it still boils down to compatibility you see god goes ahead and makes the animals the bible says god comes and sees adam and says it's not good for a man to be alone i will make a helpmate suitable for him and he goes ahead and starts making different species of animals chimpanzee giraffe elephant snake this and that and then he makes it and brings them to adam to see what adam will call them and the bible says after adam finished naming the animals there was no suitable helpmate for him from the animals that was when god caused adam to fall into a deep sleep and then god began to make the woman from adam's rib 
you see what what we we tend to do is that we tend to force the snake to change you tell the snake change your character you tell the, the, the serpent you tell the giraffe change your neck you tell the lion change your uh, your, your 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 clouds you tell the, the 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 monkey change the way you walk i'm not saying that you don't change for the one you love but there are core values about a person. Maybe the person himself doesn't understand why they behave the way they do. Maybe by being in your life, you are going to help them discover the, the positive side of that character they have been misusing. You see, I was amazed at the fact that God did not go back to take the lion and begin to prune the lion and begin to trim his beard and begin to change his clothes and begin to change his eyes just so that he can fit for Adam. No. God shifted everything he had made away and began to make something again. There is somebody for you somebody that will be compatible to your characteristics you see there are things about your life that was not in your spirit when you were born there are things about your life that was not a part of who god created but there are things that you got to learn from your environment things you picked by virtue of the environment you grew up in characters you have built because of where you found yourself so those words can be worked on those ones, somebody says, please, I, I don't like when you do this. You can work on them because those are negotiables. But there are certain aspects about your life that are non-negotiables. If you are a caring person, you are morally, you love to pray, you love to preach the gospel. Somebody comes and tells you, I want to marry you, but you must stop preaching. You, you, it's not even an option. It's not up for discussion. So I'm saying that. There are things about your person that nobody should ask you to change because they want to marry you. Those things are called the non-negotiables of your person. It's, there are things that God put in you because of his purpose. But there are other things about you that are the negotiables. Your character, where you were born, influences your character. The way you speak, your manner of approach, those are negotiables. The way you perceive the world, those are negotiables that you can work on. I was amazed when I read that scripture again. That what God did not do is that he never went and took the snake. I told Adam, okay, since you said you did not find anyone among these that you like, tell me what you like. Let me, let me reform. Let me reshape this one to what you like. No, he didn't. That was not done. Rather, he went ahead to recreate what Adam needed. I think, sorry, I think somewhere in the heart of God, he understood that what was already made will meet his own Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Because it's all about a compatibility game. It's all about a game of compatibility. How well can this person blend into my weak points? How well can this person help my own weak side? I believe that God made you with a consciousness about your life. And one person who believes that God created me fully conscious about the purpose and destiny he has given me. Maybe that's the reason why he gave me the height I have. Maybe that's the reason why he gave me the size I have. Okay, size is because of food. I cannot say that. Maybe that's the reason why he gave me the smile, the way I speak. Yes, there are other things about my personality that needs to be worked on. Be, I, 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 I inherited them or I built them through my journey of life because of the challenges, my environment. Be careful what you trade because you want to get married. Be careful what you give away because you want to get married. Be very careful. It might be the core of your being. It might be the only reason why you were created. I say it again. Your Mr. Right is not the perfect guy. Your Mrs. Right is not the perfect guy. Your kingdom spouse is not the perfect guy. It's the person that compliments you better. How well does he or she compliment you? That is your kingdom spouse. I will make him a helpmate suitable for him. Suitable for him. 
and God goes about making different animals. You see, one thing I would say again before I go as a bonus is that you have somebody that will marry you, but not one particular name. You see, when God made me, he gave me a personality trait. And then he has made several other personality traits in Maine. And those are the different possible outcomes of marriages I can have. You see, my kingdom spouse is not just Isaac. My kingdom spouse can also be Emmanuel. Emmanuel and Isaac will have certain similarities that corresponds to my personality. Sometimes it's a matter of the name, the shape, the color, and the size. So God will put your Mr. Right, the perfect match, your suitable helpmate in different shapes and sizes and color and places. If you miss A, you get to B. That's why God made the other. Oh my God. If I keep talking on this, it's going to really be long. Because somebody might ask themselves, why would God go and make a snake, a giraffe, a tiger, a lion? When he says he wants to make a suitable helpmate for the man. It looks unlogical, right? It doesn't look logical, right? But if God could think it that way, it means somehow deep in what God created, there was a way that those could be a suitable helpmate for man. In other words, I'm trying to say this. Your kingdom spouse might come in the form of a giraffe, might come in the, in the personality of a snake, might come in the personality of a lion, or in the personality, okay, thank you. Your kingdom spouse will have the personality they have, but they might come in the skin of a lion. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on. God is in this meeting. Your kingdom spouse might be or have the personality of your suitable helpmate as God designed it. So your kingdom spouse can have the personality of your suitable helpmate as designed by God but now comes in different shades and color. He might come as a giraffe in the cloth of a giraffe. He might come dressed as a lion. He might come dressed as a, uh, a snake. He might come dressed as a chimpanzee. He might come dressed as, a, as a, an ostrich. He might come dressed as a crocodile. But the same personality. Now you are left to make the choice. What color do you like? What skin type do you like? So I beg to say that what did not appeal to Adam was not the serpent or the, or the lion. But it was the skin that they wore. He preferred something that looked like a woman to something that looked like a lion. Your Mr. Right is right there. Choose the color you want. Choose the skin size you want. But make sure you choose the one that is compatible to you, to your assignment, to your calling, to God's vision for your life. I pray that this will bless someone. And it will guide your steps, give you direction as you make decisions about your marriage. I pray that God will manifest your marriage quickly. I begin to decree and declare in the name of Jesus, your marital doors are open. Every limitation to your marital doors, every spirit of delay holding your marriage down, I begin to pray in the name of Jesus and I decree, your marital doors are opened in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.